So I'm with Nate, a soil scientist for Royal Gold. I think people always want to know what's the fastest, easiest fix for anything. In your opinion, what is the best soil to grow cannabis? The best soil to grow cannabis or, or really anything is the one that fits your needs and the plant's needs. Mm -hmm. There's so much difference in, in the styles of, of how people grow things that, you know, say for you, maybe you don't have time to water every day and manage things every day. Mm -hmm. You need a different soil than somebody else over here who wants to feed six times a day, mm -hmm. right? So there is no one size fits all. And whether it's cannabis or other things, every one of those is gonna have their own specific needs. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna depend on if you're growing outside in a greenhouse, inside with lights. There's just so many factors that there's no one best. I'm an outdoor grower. What type of dirt should I use for my cannabis? If you're growing outdoors, something that is gonna provide nutrients throughout the summer, something that's gonna retain water mm -hmm. so that you can minimize your time dealing with those things. Mm -hmm. There isn't an answer. The answer is become well informed on your environment, your location, and choose the medium wisely. If I were to answer that question, I would say a clean, consistent, and quality medium that fits the needs for your specific situation. But understand what clean organic matter and clean fertilizers mean and look for products that contain those things. Ideally, try and be as local as you can to your own source as well. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things I really like about the uh, redwood forest humus is it's a recycled, reused product that would basically normally just be incinerated or thrown into the landfill. And you guys are actually reusing it as the backbone of a bunch of your products. Absolutely. We try and focus on capturing usable, effective things from other waste streams mm -hmm. and to minimize our carbon footprint, maximize the reclamation of carbon mm -hmm. and try and just lead by example by doing one thing a little bit better each time. Well, and that's that's part of this, too, is that this material can be reused. Mm -hmm. It's not just a one use sort of thing. Mm -hmm. The structure and, you know, the, the carbon and organic matter that's in it, they can they decompose for sure, mm -hmm. but they do it relatively slowly. So instead of having to, like, replace everything, you may just have to add a little bit extra fill up that bed or fill up that pot from the root balls that you pulled out mm -hmm. and a little bit of decomposition that goes in. Do you find that uh, the second crop the year after is a little bit better than the first year? Oftentimes that's that's accurate, yeah. If you um, treat it correctly. If, <laughs> if yes, if yeah. you treat it correctly. Um, yeah. And by correctly, you know, not over watering, not over fertilizing, replacing, you know, what, what did decompose or, or what, mm -hmm. you know, came out of the pot. But yeah, it's it's made to be reused and it'll do great for multiple years. It's a starter kit for regenerative gardening. We try and take the entire giant concept of like hugel culture beds and regenerative farming and putting big chunks of earth back in and we micronize it. It's it's just a smaller condensed version. So it's going to react faster. It's going to give you those results faster, but you're going to have to kind of resupplement through the years. But when you dump a bag of royal gold soil out, you're already employing some of these techniques that we're talking about just by dumping it out of the bag and putting your plant in. Beautiful. Well, guys, thank you. Uh, there's a lot to cover. There's a lot of technology that you guys have put into your bag. The end consumer time and time again, gets uh, fantastic results using your products. So it's nice to be able to actually hear from the scientist, hear from the guy that's been involved in this industry for years. Uh, you're a veteran within the industry and we're, we're very grateful to actually had a little bit of insight on what Royal Gold does. Thank you for the opportunity. It's always such a pleasure. Thanks guys. Thanks.